right so then today is the day one right you will have uh 24 days ahead right uh in the upcoming classes right you will learn a lot about uh, english language and how to speak confidently right uh everybody can teach about english language right but we are here to make you speak right so uh, everything depends on your dedication, right? So uh, work hard, right? That's what I have to tell you uh, at the beginning of the class, right? So then the day one, it's about self-introduction, right? Self-introduction. Uh, this will be very easy for you guys and you will learn something new, right? Uh, have you ever introduced yourself <clears throat> in English? Yeah. Have you ever introduced yourself? Yes. Yes, sir. In English, yes, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. right. If it is yes, it doesn't matter, right? You will learn a lot. You will learn more about self-introduction. If it is not, you don't have to worry. Uh, at the end of this lesson, you will be able to introduce yourself. Uh, perfectly right right so then let's start self-introduction right uh where do you have to introduce yourself where did you have to introduce yourself can you tell me where did you have to introduce yourself introduce color then interview Yes, when you are at uh, at an in interview, yes, what else? Meet a new friend. Ah, okay, when you meet a new friend, is that all? When, when we went to a new place, so we new area. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Right, so you may have to introduce yourself in English especially at a job interview, right? So when you introduce yourself at a job interview, you cannot use the language that we use in our day-to-day -day language, right? There are some phrases, there are some sentences that we can use, right? So don't worry, you will learn everything here. And also you will have to introduce yourself in a new class, right? Have you ever experienced this, guys? Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. yes. 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 So, how, how did you feel? How did you feel? When you introduced yourself in a class, how did you feel it? Sometimes I have I have to tell a lot of things, but mm. at that moment I haven't uh, words, a lot of mm. words. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We uh, we yeah. get stuck. Yeah, to this. Am I correct? You get stuck. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. What's the reason? What's the reason I got stuck when I got it? Yes, you don't have enough words. You, you yeah. don't have enough words. Lack of vocabulary. Yes, and also you don't know the correct grammar patterns, right? Mm, yes, sir. So that's the reason actually. And also, uh, 
you practiced short and sweet answers since your childhood since the day you started learning english you practiced giving short and sweet answers when you learn the language am i correct ogolu podi kalinda ingena gatte can you dance yes i can short answers ne where do you live i live in kalam right uh how do you feel i am happy right uh if you can add more and more to your answers once you start uh learning a new language so you can learn you can uh maintain your fluency you can build up your fluency you will never get stuck right gollo adda indalama patan ganna ogollo matek activities karaddi right monama velawakawa short and sweet answers denne pa right ogollo danna hema dema puluwan taran sentences walata dada katha karanna try karan right you will make mistakes it doesn't matter right uh you will make thousands mistake it doesn't matter right if you make thousand mistakes you will learn new things right a mistakes daahak karanawa kiyanne oya alud deva godak ingena ganna kiyen eka right so don't be afraid of making mistakes while speaking right එතකොට ඒ දේ අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම හොඳට ඔලුවේ තියා ගන්න ඔයගොල්ලෝ ඇක්ටිවිටීස් කරද්දි ක්ලාස් එකේදී කතා කරද්දි අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම පුළුවන් තරම් දන්න හැමදේම දදා කතා කරන්න right okay right so then uh, these are the uh, situations that we have to face that we have to introduce ourselves right uh we can go through uh the way we introduce ourselves at a job interview and also at the other places right api ingena gannawa kohomda job interview ekekedi api wa introduce karanne e wageema wena tanaka wena tanaka mi kiyanne class eheka right yes friend kenek ko hamba weddi kohomda api api introduce karanne right yes yes kaushalya this is diploma c right uh what do you have to do when you introduce yourself at a job interview what do you have to do first we want to introduce who am i yes do we introduce uh, do we come up with our name uh, our the place uh, where we live and our qualification our experience family wait a bit family background yeah. wait no sir do we do we say all these things uh, at the very beginning No, no, sir. First, no, we no, say no, greeting. No, no, no. Yes, then we have, have to greeting. We first. have to greet first, right? Right. We have to greet first. You have to make your boss happier, right? You have to make your boss. Ah, uh, you have to make your boss happier, right? Then only, ah, uh, you can make a good impression, right? So that is really important. Greetings. right mm-hmm. so how do we greet we when we time. are at a job interview when first of good all morning, we can say good morning sir right good morning, sir. good morning sir good morning madam right and after that you can come up with this expression right thank you for short listing me for this interview right thank you for short listing me for this interview this right? thank you for this interview yes can you can you read this sentence yourself everybody no no 
Can you give yes. it a try? Can no. you read this sentence? Thank you for shortlisting me for this Thank interview. You. Thank you for shortlisting. Thank you for shortlisting me for this interview. Yes. What does it mean? Istuti, my kati sabandi matra. Thank you for shortlisting me for this interview. What does it mean? Thank you for selecting me. Yes, thank you for selecting me. Ne, mama thora agatte kada mama muli me istuti vanta ve na. Right. Uh, this is what we have to say. at the very beginning right first of all you need to say good morning uh normally uh the interviews are held in the morning right so you can say good morning and if you introduce yourself at the other places what can you tell first thank you for this ुनिटी स्तुति මම කවුද කියලා කියන්න right මං ගැන කියන්න right okay right so then let's move on the next slide uh so then what do we have to mention when we introduce ourselves at job interview and the other places what do we have to say Yes, when we introduce ourselves at job interviews, so you can mention all these things. What are they? Your name, name location, 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 position, location, 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 family, hobby, set, qualifications, qualifications, experience. Yes, family, hobbies, hobbies and, age. and age. Right. So, how do you pronounce this word, guys? How do you pronounce? Company. 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 What is the correct pronunciation? Company. 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 Okay, it's company, right? Company. 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 I work at. Company. I work at ABC Company. Right. Uh, please, guys, uh, mute your microphones. Uh, and uh, you can mention your age. Uh, at the end of. At the end, right? you can mention your age because uh, age is just a figure right ek muladima kiyanna one kela ekak naha right we can mention it at the end of your speech right uh right when you are at the other places you can just mention uh, your name age where you live your school your family right uh if you are employed imagine that you introduce yourself at a job interview right if you are employed 
you can mention your position and company right oya danta mat koi hari work karanawa nan oata puluwam wage company eka kiyanna right uh okay let's see right uh we can practice everything here don't worry right so then let's see what are the phrases what are the patterns that can be used to tell uh, our name <coughs> right talk about our name what is the simplest way guys ape nama kiyanna puluwan lesima vidiya mokadda my name my name is my name my name is, my name is everybody I'm, now I'm, I'm, i am i am i am i am yes i am i am harsh i am harsh guna sekara right my name is harsh guna sekara right ah uh, here my name uh when it comes to speaking try to use contractions guys right what do you mean by contractions short form short form short form ඔයගොල්ලෝ කතාවෙදී හැමතිස්සෙම try කරන්න short forms use කරන්න right then you can make your language more natural right uh, do not say i am you can I'm. say i am instead right i am do not pitch am am කියන එක pitch කරන්න එපා ඔයගොල්ලෝ කතා කරද්දි right try to tell i am right i am harsh guna sekara right my name is uh, harsh guna sekara right don't try to pitch is right so then it sounds natural okay uh, when you speak a language your accent is very important ogollo language ekak katha karaddi accent ekak kiyana eka godak wedaga right accent ekak kiyan the way you speak the way you pronounce right aa katha karna vilasaya katha karna vidiya tam accent ekak kiyan right it should be very nice right okay so then what are the other uh, you can call me you can call you can call, you can call me uh, harsh it doesn't matter for me right you can call me harsh oya puluwama harsh kiyala kiyan right my first name right these things can be mentioned uh, my uh, full name right my nickname everything right my parents my friends call me harsh my parents call me sudhuputa my parents call me chudiputa right uh, likewise you can make it more beautiful right and my best friend uh, my girlfriend my boyfriend my husband my wife teacher calls me can mention the relevant name right that you are called oata katha karana nama metana blank ekey dala oata katha karana puluwa right right is everything here clear to you yes 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 sir yes sir yes sir right how uh, are you called guys ඕගලන්ට කතා කරන්නේ කොහොමද Can you tell me Why How do you like to be called ඔයගොල්ල කැමති කොහොම කතා කරනවා නම් ඔයගොල්ලන්ට By who Yes අපි එකක් ඉගෙන ගන්නවා right මම කැමති මට මෙහෙම කතා කරනවා right So how do we say that हमें क्या मतलब मटे मेहमान का ताकर ना। I like. I would like. To... I would like to call me. I would like to call like me. I like. I like to be. I like to be called. You can mention the name. You. I like to be called Harsha. 
I like to be called. Right. Don't think about the grammar here, right? Maybe I think grammar can hit on never a my ogolo. Maybe a pattern should be all we matter get the other. Right. Right. I like to be called. How do you like to be called? I like to be called. I like to be called. Okay. What about the others? I like to be called. I like to be called. I like, I like to be called. 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 I like to we can move on the next slide excuse me sir yes i can't see anything in the screen i can mm -hmm. only do can't you see the presentation guys yes sir so i can see what about the others? We can I can see that. We can see that. We can see that. We can see that. Okay, then there is something wrong with your uh, computer here, right? Okay. Right. As everybody can see, so there is uh, no issue here. Right. So... Moving on the next one, uh, we are going to talk about location, right? Uh, in other words, where you are from, right? Ah, uh, in a location, ne? Ah, in a town. Ah, kya na puluang krama mona mat? What are the places that we can use? I'm from. 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 Yes, I am from. I am from. Uh, I am from Kote. I am from Nugegode. Like, but you can mention the place. I am from. I am from. Which is more beautiful? I am from or I am from? I am from. I am from. Yes. I am from. Yes. Oh, uh, you. Oh, you could say. Uh, I come from. I come from Kalam, right? Uh, I live in. I live in Nugegode. I live in Nittambur, right? Uh, I'm native to. I'm native to. Uh, Kandy, right? That means my native place, my hometown is Kandy. I'm from. Right. Uh, how do you pronounce this word? Is it Is it Is it Yeah, it's grew up. It's grew. So then how do you pronounce the word? Grew, right? I grew up. I grew up in Andhrapura. But, but now I am in Kalambu. Okay, I am in Kalambu. Okay, guys, please uh, mute your microphones, right? Once I ask you to speak up, you can unmute and speak. Okay. Right. Mama Hadune, Andhrapuri. Mama Hadune, Hadune, Andhrapuri. I grew up in Andhrapuri, but now I am in Kalambu, right? Or you could say, I am originally from. Andhradapura. But I am now based in Kalambo. By them mama in them mama settled well in Kalambo. Right. Right. Uh, so this is something uh, uh, you can if you want you can uh, use this one too. Uh, or to make up a come use Kalambo at the same time. You can say, uh, I live in Colombo, right? I've been living there for uh, three years, 
I've been living uh, there since 2017, right? Uh, I've been living. I have been living. I have been don't think about the grammar here, right? Mitten grammar hit an eba pattern nega kilira matagatia. I've been living. So instead of saying I have been living, you could say I've been living, the short form, right? So what is the short form, guys? I have been living. I've been living. I've been Yes, I have can be contracted I've like this. I. So then, uh, I have becomes I. I have becomes I. So then, it sounds more natural, right? I've been living there for three years. I've been living there since my childhood. Okay, so can you tell something about your locations guys where do you live you can use all these things i'm from kandy i'm from kandy i'm from kandy i'm from kurnagal i'm from kurnagal i'm from kurnagal i'm from kurnagal i'm from i'm from kandy 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 i'm I have been living there for living there for I have been living there for I have been living for I have been Okay, stop talking. Right. So, uh, I live in. Colombo, I've been living there for three years. Since my childhood. Magi Podikal in the lab, right? Right. So then is everything here clear to you? Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, apart from these things, uh, you can use these expressions as well, right? Meva Tamatarva Mina me metana me box secati never to go and use karanapulwa. Uh, I was raised. I was raised in Candy. I can mama had I was raised. I was raised in Candy. But now I live in Colombo. Right? I spent my childhood. I spent my childhood in uh Candy. Nitambu. <clears throat> right? Or you could say I was born in. I was born in, you can mention the relevant place, right? Yes. Hope everything uh, is clear to you guys. Okay, uh, Piyumi, that's correct. Right. <clears throat> Let's move on to the next one. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Uh, I have been living there for three years. It was say since uh, 2017. Okay. Uh, when you talk about the period, what period do you think about the period? What do you period? What do you think about the period? What do you think about the period? What do you think for five years, for ten years, uh, likewise, right? Uh, if you mention a point of time, ah, hari edam a time point te kakiya na na. Dedas da hatte indala. Ah, mage childhood de ke. I have been living there for since two thousand thirteen. Ah, for is it correct? Since. Since. Right. What can we use? Since or for? Since. 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 
ूस्ड uh what is the first one guys i work at i work okay. at you can mention your company's name i work at british way english academy right i work at i work at sasan export limited yes i work at abc company right i work at pandix limited yes uh you can use commercial I work for as well. Or I mean, I work at. Take a look at me. I work for. Can you guys use Karana Kulwa? I work for ABC I work Company. For I work for British Way English Academy. Right? If you I want to mention the department, you can use these things. I work for uh, British Way English Academy in the. in the acad uh, in the educational department as a lecturer right in the academic department as a lecturer right i work for uh, i work for abc company in the uh, oh. marketing department as a sales manager right department ekka wa kiyanna ona in kiyana preposition ekat ek in the marketing department right in the academic department uh position ekak kiyanne kavuru vidihata da wede karanna kiyana ekak kiyanne as kiyana uh, expression ekat ek as a lecturer as a teacher as a sales manager can't you see can't you hear me I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. So then, uh, can you tell me uh, your examples? Where do you work? If I you are employed. I work for the hotel in the animation and the animator. I work for I work for Trendway Company. The I work for Manish Kavan in the production department as a purchasing executive. I work for TVS Lanka in the uh, service department as a service advisor. In the service I department, at, I work at shipping line company. in the uh, shipping department i work for that one as a shipping manager as a manager yes where well that and what about the third one i work in right uh, here we use at and for and after that we use the name of the com- company and here we use in once we use in we do not mention the name of our company right that is the rule there etana rule ekak thama oya work in kiyala kiyanawa nan oya kavadawat oya wede karana company eke name ekak kiyanne naha right work in oya you can just say i work in a bank bank eke name ekak kiyanne naha because uh, some people do not like to mention the place where they were right that's why uh if you are currently em- employed you cannot say ne a kemathi nani samahara velawada then you can say i work in a bank i work in a hotel right i work in a private school i work in private sector paut gilkanshe i work in government department right likewise 
and the next one i am a manager i'm i'm a yes. manager i'm a manager this is the position guys uh, i'm a manager at commercial bank right now uh, kiyana nan mama bank ke heka manager kenek how do you say that i am a manager, I'm a manager at clear to you Yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Yes. Moving on the next one, we have qualifications. Uh, how can we mention our qualification? Right. Uh, especially when we are at a job interview, we have to tell our qualifications right uh when you are at a job interview right uh, you you can use uh, these phrases to mention your qualification uh, what is the first one i am a graduate i am a graduate of of english right i am a graduate of i am a graduate of english i am Yes. Uh, what do you mean by a graduate? About the degree holder. Yes. That. Yeah. That means you are a degree holder. I am about to graduate this year. What does it mean? I am about to graduate. That means your graduation ceremony will be uh -huh. held very soon. right mm -hmm. uh, graduate can it when i am about to graduate right okay next one i, I have, have a bachelor that. of commerce degree in marketing i'm ready to graduate right i have a bachelor of commerce degree in marketing and the next one i graduated in english at the university of peradi mm. at the university of kalam i graduated man upadhya gatte i graduated right yes in business management and in university in business management at the university of kalam right kalam okay i am in my final year right i am in i am in my final year right So likewise you can mention i am nearing the end of my studies mage studies ivara karana onna menne inne mam i am nearing the end of my studies right i'm nearing the end of my studies right uh and if you have followed any course right ogulo mona hari course ekak karala thiyenawa na menna me phrases ogulanta paavichi karanna puluwa I have completed a six-month course in English, right, uh, on marketing at British English Academy, right. She have follow any course. I have I have completed an English course yeah. at British English Academy, right. In British English Academy. Sorry. okay if you are following a course these days you can tell uh, it in this way right me davas walo ya course ekak karana gamanna inne uh oada puluwa menna me phrase ekak paavichchi kara i am currently taking a course mam me davas wala course ekak karanawa i am currently taking a course in english at british english academy right 
ग्राफिक डिजाइनिंग बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट graphic designing at abc company right okay so what do you have to say about your qualification guys can you please Excuse tell me sir? about your qualification i am currently talking the course in certified management accounting at the jayasekara management center taking not talking taking i am currently taking a course in um english subject at uh, british english academy yes very good i am currently taking a course in software engineering at nsbm green university mm, okay i am currently I'm taking, currently taking, taking a course in english in english british english academy यूनिवर्सिटी ओके If you are a graduate, how do you say that? I am a graduate of business administration at University of Sija, Ardhanapur. Okay. Okay. So this is how you can mention your qualifications, right? Is it all right? Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, Shashani. It doesn't matter. Right. Moving on the next slide, we are going to talk about our experience. Right. You may have uh, different sort of experience in different different uh, fields. Right. So you can mention. Your experience too, right? Okay, Pumi, very good. So then, uh, how do you express your experience? I have three years of experience in marketing, right? You can mention the field that you are expert, right? Uh, with in. इन क्या ने कहते हैं कि आठ पुलवाम आगे फील्ड एक मेंशन करा ना आई हैव थ्री एक थ्री एक्स एक्सपीरियंस इन मार्केटिंग आई हैव वर्क्ड इन मार्केटिंग फील्ड फॉर थ्री इयर्स मामा मार्केटिंग फील्ड एक है वैरायटी कर लेती है ना आई हैव वर्क्ड इन मार्केटिंग फील्ड और तू ना फॉर थ्री इयर्स इट्स अ पीरियड स I have ten years of experience in health health sector. Very good. I have, I have ten years experience of. Uh, I have three years of I experience in accounting. For experience in human resource management. Human resource management. Very yes. good. I have, I have three years of experience in. Exactly. Okay. so if you do not have experience what can you say suppose that you are just after a levels you are just after your studies as a fresher i don't have any work. i don't have any experience as a fresher i don't have any experience as a fresher i don't have any working experience i am new to this field right how many field ekada alu right i am a new 
can you tell me your experience guys what are you expert at has the pressure i don't have any working experience okay wait then etani innawa thinne pa then mama kiyapu mama ita amathara deyak ogulanda kiyuwa right anna ekat alla gan right as a person any experience in marketing field okay expert at okay then mama me sentence ekata amathara apart from this this sentence i told you another one what was it i have worked i, I expert uh, I yes uh, so, i am i am just you can start with because because uh, because i am uh, just after just after because i am just after Eleven. I'm just after my studies, right? I don't have any education. I don't have any working experience because I am just after eleven. Okay, guys. Here I I need to tell you something very important. Don't try to depend on the things that your teachers. I am just. Okay, stop. Okay, I need to tell you something very important here. don't try to depend on the things that your teacher teaches you right teach on gannana de matama depend wenne pa try to catch more and more things while listening right ahana kota oya anikan dena kota dewal alla ganna right uh, the secret of speaking a language is listening right i have 10 years experience of I have ten years of experience in motor mechanic because I'm just after A levels. Ah, right. Pumi says uh, I am a newcomer. It's all right. I am a newcomer. I am a newcomer to this field. Right. I am a newcomer. Oh, I am new to this field. Right. Excuse me. I'm gonna ask a question. As a finisher, I don't have any working experience because I'm just after grade five scholarship exam. Is that so? Right. Very nice. Oh, uh, what do you mean by fresher? Fresher kya ne? Alut kya ne ka? I am a fresher. Okay, thank you. Yes, there there is a grade five student here, right? Very nice. I have been working uh, uh, for thirteen years in the human resource department. Uh, so, can I tell like that, sir? What was it again? Can you tell me? I have been working uh, for thirteen years in the human resource department at ABC Company. Yes, correct. <laughs> okay. right next one family right so you you can talk about your family too sir? right yes uh, can i mute this uh, i am not working uh, for any company first i am a 15 uh, years old student okay correct right or you can say i am still a student mama tam student kene mama tam student kene api kohoma deka kiyanne lama i am still a student 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 right next one ah uh, i am still in grade 6 correct so there are small kids in the class very nice a okay, family 
So what are the phrases that we can use to talk about our family? I have a uh, yeah. Everybody knows this. There are five members in my family. There are six members. Everybody knows, right? There are four members in my family. There are four members in my family. There are four members in my family. There are three members in my family. There are four members in my family. There are four members in my family. There are four members in my family. Okay, wait. But I suggest you guys not to use this phrase. Right? Mama, you can use it. Because this is so traditional. Right? We need to... Uh, Learn modern English, right? Api modern English so lapi eka kiano. I am from a family of five. Ikianet magi paole pas dene kinnu agi ne kama tamam. Right? I am from a family of six. Right? I am from a family of seven. I am from a family of four. Yes, very good. There are five members. Uh, don't try to use it again, right? My father is. What's your father? If somebody asks, what is your father? What does it mean? Your father's job. My father is a job. Sorry, my father is a doctor. Sorry? My father is a businessman. Okay, very good. My mother is... My mother is housewife. My mother is a housewife. My mother is a teacher. My mother is a housewife. My mother is a housewife. My mother is a housewife. Okay. If you have siblings, what do you mean by siblings? My mother, my mother doesn't work. Sahodar, Sahodar. So I have four siblings. Sisters or brothers? I yes. have. I have four siblings. I have two siblings. I have no siblings. I have two. I have two. I have no siblings. If I tell, I have three siblings. Uh, that means it doesn't include. You, right? Right? I have three siblings. Right? Right. I am one of four siblings. I am one. Mama Palavinia. Right? I am one of four siblings. Sir, right? me, how to say if I have only one brother or one sister? I have only uh, one brother. I have only a brother. Right? I, I have, have only a sister. I have a one right. brother, but no sisters. No sisters, right? Okay, correct. I am an only child, right? I am an only child. Mama, with the right family again, I am an only child. I have two brothers. Can't right. use. Uh, uh, I have uh, one sibling. Siblings, no. Yeah, siblings. Uh, be, uh, you better use uh, I have a brother, right? I have a little brother, right? Okay, uh, so then what do you have to say about your family, guys? Can you tell me about your family? I am from a family of four. I have only one brother. I am from a family of five. We are four. <laughs> I have two brothers and no sisters. I have two brothers and no sisters. Okay, I have one brother. I have two sisters. I'm from a family. No, no, no. Uh, my mother is a housewife. I have one brother, but no sister. Okay, stop. I am the last of four siblings. Can I say that? 
Yes, correct. I am the last. I am the youngest. Right? I am the youngest. Mamdama Balia. I am the youngest. Uh, I'll teach you a, a beautiful pattern. Right? A beautiful phrase. When you mention uh, about your family, you can use this one too, right? What is it? I am blessed with a wonderful, blessed with a wonderful family. All right. I am blessed am, with am a blessed wonderful, with family. wonderful family. That means you have got a wonderful family, right? I am blessed with a wonderful family. Yes, I am blessed with a wonderful family. <clears throat> Is there any word to say uh, about a pizza? Uh, the youngest, right? We can say youngest. Balea. I am blessed with a wonderful family. Yes, very good. I am blessed. I have one brother and no sisters. Okay, correct. Right. I am blessed with lovely parents. Right. Likewise, you can use this pattern. Right. Blessed with lovely parents and a lovely brother. Very good. We are blessed with a wonderful family. We are blessed with a wonderful family. Correct. Very good. Is it clear to you? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, it was clear yes. to um... And the next one is school, right? How do you mention your school? What are the phrases? Where did you study? My school is my school is Shishaga Vidyana Kolambo 5. My school is, right? If you are still I studied that. a student, you can use is. I my uh, my school is. is. I am studying at Bishop's Convent. I study at, not I am study at, I study at. I studied at, I studied at Ananda College. I studied at Kolya Pitti Central College. I studied at Bandana. I studied at the Bangalore Central College. Yes. Okay, stop guys. Uh, or you could say, I did my schooling. I did my schooling at Ananda College. I did my schooling at Panadura Central. Likewise, I did my schooling. I studied Kenakin I did my schooling. So nice. Right? I did my schooling at mentioned this school. I attended to. I was a student of. Right? I was a student of. I that means you are not a student now. Right? My first school was. My second school was, right? Okay, so please tell me about your school now. So if I'm a student uh, on nowadays, so can we say my school is Vishwamitra Colombo 5? Correct. Okay, sir. What about the others? My school was Swarnapali Balika Vidyale and today. My school is Dila Sal College, Border Columbo 15. I did my schooling at Kalal Valka Vidyalaya. I did my schooling. Okay. I did my schooling at Pino Central College. I did my schooling at Kuliapta Central College. I did my schooling at Kuliapta Central College. I was explorant of St. Mary's College. I did my school at uh, Holy Family Corner. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. No. Right. 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 Next one. Your hobbies. Your interest. Uh, when you 
when talking about your interest and uh, your hobbies, you can use all these things, right? Mename patterns. I'm going to introduce you some patterns, right? You can use all these patterns when you talk about your hobbies, right? What is the first one? I enjoy. I enjoy plus noun. What I enjoy can I cut the canon? I enjoy music, right? I enjoy, I enjoy swimming. What do you enjoy, guys? I enjoy the book. I enjoy, I enjoy dancing. I enjoy, I enjoy reading. reading books. I enjoy learning English. I enjoy reading books. Right, stop, guys. Next one. Books. Next one, I love. I love. Uh, I love music. If you want to use a verb, you can use an ing verb, right? I love learning English. Well, love can I get a passive verb? Because that one is ing form. Can that? Right? I love learning. I love reading. I love playing. Likewise, I like. Sorry, I love to play cricket. I love. To read books. I'm really into. I'm really into uh, music, pop music. I'm really into classical music. That means you love. You love, right? I'm really into. What are you into, guys? I love to dance. Okay. What are you into? What are you into? Then Hamadism allow enjoy Kyanepa. Instead of that, That's you can good. you can use uh, I'm really into. I'm really into badminton. I'm really into badminton. Right. Very good. I'm really into swimming. Very good. I'm or really you could say I'm, I'm a big fan of I'm a big fan I'm of really playing video into. games. I am a big fan of playing piano. I'm a big fan of playing uh, guitar. I'm a big I'm fan of playing fan the fan guitar. Of reading book. I am a big fan of I'm a big fan of playing guitar. Okay, my Manisha, it should be I am, not I. Okay, next, I am interested in. I am interested in learning English. Right? I-N-G verb. Big fan of playing volleyball. Okay, what are you interested in, guys? What are you interested in? I am interested in music. I'm interested in music. I'm interested in drawing. Wait. I am interested in gardening. Okay, wait. It's not interested. It's interested, right? Interested. I am interested in playing piano. Really? Sorry, okay. In in I'm okay. In right. Or you can say I am fond of. I am fond of music. I am fond of listening uh, listening to music. Right. Uh, I am keen on. I'm keen on dancing. That means you really love. You are enthusiastic. Right. Uh, I am keen on. But are you keen on, guys? Ogula manada the kamadi. Ogula manada dunan. Keen on. I am keen on dancing. I am keen on dancing. Right. Next. Okay. Next one. I really like dancing. Right. Really. You can add the word really. You can stress. The thing that you speak up, right? Or katal karna the stress karla ki ana pulwa. Mene me really vage words add karla. I really like. Okay, so then how can we talk about our dislikes? Apni kamati nahi kela ko hamde ki ani. I am not interested. I have a question. I am not interested. Interested. Uh, I am not into politics. I am okay. not into politics, right? Non politics or the camp. Then I am not into politics. Mm -hmm. I really don't like wasting my I don't time. Like. I really yeah. don't like. I hate visiting my relatives, right? I hate it. 
Okay, so then what are your dislikes, guys? Tell okay. me. I am not interested in talking gossip. Very good. What about the others? What are your dislikes? I hate talking uh, politics. I hate I'm talking not politics. interested in watching TV. I am not interested in playing video games. Okay, very good. Okay, moving on the next one. Uh, it's about the age, right? When you talk about your age, uh, basically you can tell uh, it like this, right? I am 26 years old, right? I am 26. Uh, I am in my early. I am in my mid. I am in my late. You can mention the decade after that, right? I am in my early 20s. Especially girls do not like to mention their age. Am I correct? Yes, yes. yes, sir. yes sir. Why not? <laughs> correct. Yes. So then you can use this method, right? method. I am in my early 20s. May blank 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, likewise. Right. I am I'm, in my early twenties. Then can you guess my age? What my age is? I'm in my early twenties. Uh, I'm in my mid twenties. Can you guess what my age is? Twenty-eight. Twenty-five. Okay. And twenty-six. <laughs> Early 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. Okay. 30. I, I am blah blah blah, right? So uh right. I'm in my mid 20s. I'm in my late 30s. Right? I'm 10 years old. Ah, very good. I'm 10 years old. Okay. So how do you uh, tell your age? I am 14 years old. I'm 18. I'm 15 years old. I'm 15 years old. I'm in my early 20s. I'm 21. I'm 21. I'm 46. Here you can mention the decade. 20s, 20s, 30s, 40s. I'm in my early 20s. Okay, Patum, you can use. I'm into reading books. Sure. I'm in. Right. And the next, last one. Future expectations, right? What do you mean by future expectations? My ambition. 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 So you can ambition. think of different ambition. ways of giving it, right? Eka kiana pulwa mena skrama podda kita na, right? Don't come up with uh, the traditional methods, right? Okay, first one. My ambition. My ambition. My target. My hope. My intention. What do you mean by my intention? Magi adhahasa. Adhishtane. Oh, magi adhishtane. Magi adhahasa. Magi kamath. My intention is to be a doctor. Right? My vision in life is to be an accountant. Right? My vision in life is to be an accountant. Right? Uh, you can say my short term goal, right? You may have uh, either short term goals or long term plans, right? Oganda tiyena puluang short term goals, ne? Can it? Short term goal ka kyan mga? Kitty kali ni. 
ोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलो
in front of the others now you everybody knows what are the phrases that can be used right what are the patterns right they are being in a gatta right now we are going to use them all in our day to day conversation right uh එතකොට අපි කොහොමද ඉන්ට්‍රොඩියුස් කරන්නේ I am Harsha Gunasekara I am from Colombo right my school was uh, Royal College Panadura I studied at University of Colombo I passed my O level exam successfully right I work at British English Academy is it nice the way I expressed myself was it nice guys It was nice. Sir. Is yes, it sir. nice? Then, Mama Nikam, I just told you uh, sentences, ne? Mama no, Nikam, I'm going to sentences. Take up, ne? Give me. I am Harsha Gunasekara. I am from Colombo. I did my school in at Panadura College. I passed my O level exam. Was it nice? No. No, no. sir. Actually, no. Sir. It was not nice. So then, how can we make it more beautiful? In order to make it more beautiful, you can add linking words to your speech, right? Other linking words के लिए आप use करना पुलवा. With the help of these linking words, you can join your ideas, right? You can connect your ideas. Otherwise, what will happen to you? Or I may have used current at some moment. Even will you have a good fluency? Can you get a last time to get a talk? Are you going to pull one? No sir. No sir. Come on, sentences. Chika kya na pullo? Right? Come on, sentences. Chika kya na pullo? So, but if you want to make it more beautiful, and if you want to maintain your fluency, you can use. these linking words right what are they can you read them all okay let's see how they are used in our sentences our speeches we balmu kohomada eva use karanne kiyala ape speech ekey right see my answer here hi everyone right you are going to introduce yourself informally right me job interview ek ne me by informally wage aluwanta nattam class eka kohomada wa introduce karanne hi everyone I am Harsha Gunasekara, but my friends call me Harsha, and also so my students call me call Harsha. Me Harsha. Not only that, my parents call me Sudhakuta. Right? Hi, everyone. Wait, wait, wait. First of all, listen to me. And also, my students. Okay, stop talking. Harsha. But I like to be called Harsha. Call me Sudhakuta. stop talking guys but uh i am still in my 20s actually i am in my early 30s right i was born and raised in panadura so my native village is panadura but now i live in nugega my school was royal college panadura moreover i studied at university of colombo moreover moreover can i tava durata tavat kiyanawa na right if you want to add more and more to your sentence you can use this moreover moreover i studied at university of colombo i did my english diploma there when talking about my educational qualification mage uh, educational qualifications katha karnawa na when talking about my educational qualifications i have passed my o level exam with flying colors it's a nice expression with flying colors what does it mean with flying colors they can be with a good result 
right? With a good result, with flying colors, it's an idiom, a key idiom mega. I will teach you what idioms are in the upcoming classes with flying colors. Can it? On the result, I level And I have completed my A levels. In addition to that, Itamatara, in addition to that, I have followed an IT diploma. Another thing is another thing, then Balana Pime Ape ideas link karana. Another thing is I have completed TKT exams at British Council. Moreover, I am reading for my bachelor's degree these days. Right? Moreover, Tawat Kiana, Eva Gamer, Mama Mage, Medawasal Mama, Mage degree ka karnagamang, and I am reading for my bachelor's degree these days. When it comes to my family, Mage Paula Tenogota, uh, I'm single, right? And I'm blessed with a wonderful family. If you are a student, uh, do not say I'm single, right? When it comes to my family, I'm single and I'm blessed with a wonderful family. And also, I have two siblings and I hail from a Buddhist family. I hail from a Buddhist family. Can mama any Buddhist family hacking? Right, I hail from a Buddhist family. Furthermore, Tabadurada. Furthermore, I work at British Way English Academy and I've been working as an English teacher for nearly five years. When talking about my future expectations, I have an intention of starting my own business. I have an intention of starting my own business. My own business. And to serve as an English teacher furthermore. Right? This is how you can introduce yourself. Right? Can you, can somebody introduce yourself? By looking at this, make a balag and a karta hari introduce karana puluanda. Everybody, please try. It. I want you to speak up, right? Don't be afraid. I'm here to help you. Hi, everyone. I'm with you. Call me. And also, and also. My parents told me. Okay, so my sister, not only that. Wait, wait. Parents wait, stop. Stop. stop, guys. Stop, please. Okay, stop. Uh, Sanupama, oh, Sanupama, can you please introduce yourself? Yes, sir. Yes. Hi, everyone. I am Anusha Kumuduni Jayati, sir. But my friends call me Anusha, and also my uh, parents call me Sududu. Mm -hmm. okay. My friends and my teachers call me Anusha, uh, but I like to be called Anusha. Same. Uh, I am uh, still my 30, 30s. Actually, I am in uh, uh, early 30s. I was born and raised in Anuradhapura. So my native village is Horopatana. But now I am living in Anuradhapura. My school was Swanpali Balika Vidyali Anuradhapura. Moreover, I studied uh, at the uh, nursing school in Radhapura. I did my English diploma there and uh, University of Mihintale. When talking about my education qualification, okay. talking, sorry, talking about my education qualification, I have passed my uh, all level 
uh, with flying flowers and I have completed my A levels. In addition to that, I have followed an reading for my uh, not I'm reading. These days I am reading. Yes, this is this day I am taking a course. Course. When it comes to my family, I am married uh, and I am uh, blessed with blessed. a good husband and a good family. Good family. And also I have uh, three siblings and I have sorry, three children. Uh, two children. Uh, two children. Uh, sorry. Okay, I hail from. Yes, I hail from uh, working as a nurse. No, I hail from a Buddhist. Uh, sorry, I hail from a Buddhist family. Furthermore, I work uh, in hospital as a nurse. In a hospital. See, Yes, since uh, 10 years. Uh, for 10 years. For 10 for years. Ten, for 10 years. Uh, when talking about, talking about my future, I have an intention of starting my BSc nursing. Uh, as in uh, to be a graduate nurse. Okay, well done. What about the others? Who can speak up? If you uh, if you are willing to speak, uh, raise your hand, please. There is an emoji. Emoji. Okay, Ravindra. Yes. Hi, everyone. Uh, I am Ravindra Kumar, but my friends call uh, Ravi. And also, uh, and also, uh, my parents call Kumar, but I like to call uh, Ravi. I, I like still, to be called. Yeah, I am uh, like to be called Ravi. I'm still in my. Uh, I'm sorry, I am 20 years old. Uh, I was born and raised in uh, Ratnapura. And uh, when talking about my uh, edu uh, education qualification, I have uh, I have passed my whole level with uh, um, good passes and I have completed my hair level and um, and uh, moreover I am uh, I'm uh, reading for my uh, LLB entrance exams uh, when it comes to my family when, uh, when it, comes, when it to comes, to to comes to my family uh, I am a single and uh, single and uh, single and I, I am blessed uh, with a wonderful family and also I have uh, uh, two siblings and uh, I, was, I am from a Hindu family. Uh, for more, uh, I uh, sorry, sir, uh, wait a minute. Okay, um, okay, sure. No worries. When talking about my future uh, expectations, except expectations, yeah. and, um, uh, I have an uh, in, in intention of uh, studying for a uh, law college, and uh, that's all. That's all. That's all about myself. Likewise, you That's can end up your speech, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll give the chance, uh, more chances. Wait. Okay. Uh, you have an activity to be done, right? activity It's about a video activity, guys. Every day, uh, you have to make videos, right? Uh, api mention karala thiyena monada activities karanna ona video activities karanna ona activities tika after the session uh, before the next day you have to send me a video 
on this activity, right? Uh, you can send it to your WhatsApp group, your group. Group for the video clip, right? Picalim badges, second last Sunday may activity a cara, a good last Sunday videos edit curla, Mamaki and edit curanakilla. If you can do so, it's okay. Last Sunday edit curla, last Sunday video activities, curla, right? Oya may make a speech check up with the current non camera. I could be a right? But uh, do not read papers, right? Paper ka kya wana nangi pa, right? So then we others can feel that you read papers, right? Uh, you have to speak naturally. Kam ek is tarah dekhi le last sunday naturally khata karana. Ogulangi confident hada karna pulva. First step pe kada maenge, right? I hope everybody will do and send me the videos, right? I will give you a comment on your video, right? Ogolangi videos are the mama comment a gag then. If again, a davasi hondama video a mama select karano, hondama speak of a thorano, right? So try to do this activity. Oya, oya, mama mentioned Kalatina Mokak the activity a kinaka. Yes, this is the activity. Introduce yourself informally at a class. Right, class seeker. Ah, uh, come to have introduced Karan. Class and speech check up with here. Naturally, video check up eleven. Right. Can everybody do this? Yes, I can. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. I can. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. yes of course. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I can, sir. I can, sir. Right. Okay, so then uh, Saman Ratnaika, you can speak up. Hi, everyone. I'm Saman Pahit Ratnaika, but my friends call me Pali. Uh, and also, my parents call me Saman. Uh, but I like to be a call as a Pali. Uh, I am still my. Uh, I am still. 14. 40s. In my 40s. Yeah, actually, I am uh, in early 40s. I was born and raised in Kuliapitiya. Uh, so my native village is Velipanda uh, But now I live in uh, Matara. Uh, my school was Kudaya uh, Pitya Central College. I studied at uh, NIBM number. I did my uh, IT diploma in there. When I'm talking about my education qualifications, I have passed my O level with uh, good, uh, A good passes. Result. And I, yeah, good results. And I have completed my A levels. In addition to that, I followed a purchasing diploma in uh, uh, ISMM. Uh, another thing is, I uh, sorry, more I'm uh, uh, reading re reading for my uh, degree in uh, uh, procurement. Uh, when I, when it comes to my family, I am uh, married and I have two children. Uh, I blessed with my wonderful family, uh, and also, sorry. Uh, so I I, uh, I hail from a Buddhist family. Furthermore, I would I work at a Manish and Carbon Company in uh, Hamban Tota as a purchasing executive uh, uh, I, I like when talking about my further experience so expectations uh, i like to uh, become a businessman um, uh, in my own uh, my own business uh, that's all thank you okay well done uh 
okay uh, when you speak up uh, if you can switch on your videos i really appreciate it right as today is the very first day i do not uh, ask you to switch on your videos uh ogland video ek on kala speech ekak karanna puluwan nan katha karanna puluwan nan i really appreciate it right uh okay prabhashi yes, we'll do it in next week okay prabhashi hi everyone thank you for giving me this opportunity i'm prabhashi rasara but my friends call me rasara uh Mm, but I like to be called Prabashi. Uh, I'm still in my 20s. Actually, I'm in my early 20s. I was born and raised in Atnagala. So my native village is Atnagala. Uh, my school was Ratnavali uh, Vidyala Gampaha. Mm, when talking about my education and qualifications, I have passed my O-level with flying colors and I have completed my A-levels. In addition to that, I have followed an IT diploma in Java. Um, and the thing is, uh, I am I am taking uh, taking English course in British Council. Um, moreover, I am reading for my bachelor's degree in science these days. When it comes to my family, I am single and I am blessed with a wonderful family. And also, I have one sibling and I hail from a Buddhist family. Mm, uh, I'm a fr as a fresher, I don't have any working working experiences. Yeah. When uh, when talking about my future expectations, uh, I have an intention to uh, be a be an, be a lecturer in the university. Thank you. Okay, well done. What about the others? Who can? If you are willing to speak up, please raise your hand. Hi, everyone. Okay. Hi, everyone. I am Udyogi Veera Singh. Uh, but my friends call me Udyogi. And also, uh, not only that, my parents call me Sudhu. Uh, but I like to be called Udyogi. I am still in my 20s. Uh, I was born and raised in Palavata. So my native village is Palavata. Uh, my school was uh, Matugam Central College. Uh, moreover, I studied at the University of Palavata um, I did my, uh, did my degree there. Uh, when talking about my educational qualification, I have passed my O level with flying colors and I have completed my A levels. In addition to that, I have followed an IT diploma. Another thing is uh, I have completed counseling diploma. Uh, 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 these days I am following an English course. Uh, when it comes to my family, I'm single and um, I'm blessed with a wonderful family. And also, I have four siblings and I hail from a Buddhist family. Um, when talking about my future expectations, uh, I have an intention of become a commissar. What kind of that you can see? Yes, accountant. Yes. Palpan Yadari Ah, so there is a term for that, right? Uh, yes, yes, you can mention any one. What is the term for that? Mm, My executive level. Is it executive level? Administrative. Yes. Uh, administrative. Yes, I forget it. Ad administrative. Uh, I have an intention now. Uh, I have. Sorry. Administrative uh, paripalana. Ne? Apikane, 
administrative officer paripalana niladare ekwenna i have an intention of being an administrative officer right i have an intention of being administrative officer thank you everyone okay uh, udya uh, udyogi right right so then uh, so others can everybody can make a video and send me uh, and i will comment on your videos right uh, may speech ekama thamma video ekak karala ewanna group ekata don't be afraid right you need to get the chance right uh lastana video ekak karala ewan right uh don't be afraid of speaking guys right we are here to help you guys right uh, no matter you make mistakes while speaking what matters is uh, speaking somehow right vedagatma de tamma kohoma hari katha karnika right with lots of mistakes you can learn a lot right that's what i have to say right and i need to give a small advice for you guys a piece of advice uh please uh, try to improve your listening and reading activities right reading skills right after the class i will send you uh, reading and listening activities to your group right you can uh, use a book or you can have some photocopies you can uh, take some printouts and do the activities නැත්තම් පොතක් අරගෙන ඇක්ටිවිටීස් ටික ලියන්න ආන්සර්ස් ටික එව්රි ඩේ යු විල් බී ගිවන් රීඩින් ඇන්ඩ් ලිස්නින් ඇක්ටිවිටීස් රයිට් ලිස්නින් ඇක්ටිවිටි රීඩින් ඇක්ටිවිටි එකේදී තියෙන්නේ ඔයගොල්ලෝ එක රීඩ් කරලා ආන්සර්ස් ටික ලියන්න ලිස්නින් ඇක්ටිවිටි වෙන් ඉට් කම්ස් ටු දි ලිස්නින් ඇක්ටිවිටි ඇන් ඕඩියෝ ක්ලිප් විල් බී සෙන්ට් ටු යුවර් ග්‍රූප් විත් අ වර්ක් ෂීට් රයිට් you have to play the audio clip three times how many times three times three times three while times. listening times. while listening you can answer for the questions right ahana gama ewada uttara liyan right they cannot be done in the class eva class ekak karanna beha as we don't have enough time right uh, give priority for listening and reading because they make you stronger they make you more confident right uh speaking wala secret ekak thama listening and reading right try to listen to uh english contents on youtube right there are so many conversations in english conversations english dialogues on youtube right you can go through them and study something right you can make your social media uh, uh your technology to your advantage right ek ogolange vasiyak karaganna there is a lot of uh, english content on youtube right please do them uh what happens when you listen uh english contents මොකද වෙන්නේ ඕගොල්ලෝ ඉංග්‍රීසි අහන්න ගත්තාම What happens we can improve knowledge yes english now, you can know. learn more and we can speak in Eng- we can think in english we yes. can speak yes yes our mind our mindset our and mem- no, yes our mindset is full of speaking english singhala proper. our native language right so therefore we cannot speak english fluently if we can input a lot of english definitely uh, we will good english very soon try to input a lot of english input karagana godak english right ahanna sindu ahanna movies balanna with subtitles youtube videos balanna right uh, then only you can achieve this target right you know there are some students uh, those who go to international schools small kids do they know all the grammar parts in english no 
but they speak what's the secret the students who are in international schools in grade 1 2 3 4 they speak they fluently speak what is the secret they always speak in english they always listening they always heard in listening in english this is the secret they always speak english yes we are using they english are no english that is not the secret english wait uh, they speak based on what they hear right egolanta ahena de egolange teacher kiyana de egolange friends la kiyana de parents la kiyana de mataka tiyan indala egolo katha karana right so, Peter Hammer grammar point a coming in a gun or shenay grammar. Peter Puluang can a kiena de akahagan in the la. Eka matakatiagan in the la katagan. Right? Read karadi manahari, last than a pattern neka kambuno. A pet eka pay day to day plan may check a use karana puluana. Eka pigan known. Right? Nikama read karnek and nikama listening activities karnek and emmy. Right? Uh, so then you can be good speakers at the end of this course. Uh, right. So then uh, that's all about what I have to say. Uh, yes. And uh, after the class, uh, not after the class, actually, tomorrow uh, your recording will be sent to the group today's lesson right i will share the link with you guys then uh, if you can go through the lesson once again and learn something right uh all right then so that's all about today's session do you have any questions excuse me sir. sorry Yes, sure. After the lesson, I will send this uh, PDF to your group. Right? Okay. Excuse me. But I will, after the lesson, I will send this PDF and reading activities and the uh, listening activity. But the recording will be sent tomorrow before 12. Right? Okay, okay, sir. What else? Sir, I'm linking words together in the Buddha. They don't get thick. Yes, linking words together. They don't get thick. Ah, they don't. When I explained this, I told you the meanings. My meanings take a cue. Right? right? So they are very easy. Uh, not only that. And also, Eva Gamer. Moreover, moreover, can a copy Pavichikara no other information details at Karana and Israel. Right? Moreover, when talking about my qualification, my qualifications can a Kataka novel. Right? Uh, another thing is, Tavadea Samai, another thing is. Furthermore, Tavadurata. When it comes to when it comes to my family, when it comes to English language. Right? So likewise, we can use LinkedIn. Go through the recording once again and you can use them in your day-to-day -day conversation. Right. So what do you think about today's class, guys? Are you happy with today's class? Are you yes, satisfied? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you learn something new? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Excuse me. Okay. Okay. So then uh, we can wind up today's class. Hope to see you guys on Friday at 8 p.m. Until then, goodbye to everyone.
Thank you, sir. Good night. Bye. Good night, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye, sir. Good night. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. Thank you, sir. Good night, sir.